the vast majority of the UK population have never eaten grits. It's something that we don't see on our supermarket shelves. Most people would think it's something we treat our roads with in winter. I have eaten grits and I must say I was not impressed. Perhaps a breakfast buffet on the 192 in Kissimmee, Florida may not have been the best place to sample grits. I thought there must be more to this American classic. Having trawled through YouTube and the internet, I find the most popular combo is shrimp and grits. As I said, you will be hard pushed to find grits on a UK supermarket shelf. However, we can get polenta. So what's the difference here you say? Well, grits are American ground corn. Polenta is Italian ground corn. One is ground a little finer than the other. And as for the taste, well, it's very similar. You say tomato, we say tomato. You say a shrimp, we say a prawn. So before we call the whole thing off, here's one Brit's take on a US classic, grits and shrimp. Or you could call it prawns and polenta. Call it what you like. The taste is amazing. So let's get into the kitchen. I have one onion, which I'm cutting into slices. Now I'm cutting the slices into small pieces. Take a handful of mushrooms and slice them. If only my knife skills were as good as this. The mushroom slices are now chopped into small pieces. With a pan on the hob, switch on and then add a knob of butter. I want as much of that buttery flavour as possible. Now add the onion and fry gently to soften. Well, they are softening nicely. Time to add the mushrooms. Continue to fry until they are cooked and then leave to stand until required. I'm cooking the polenta in chicken stock. Here again it's all about flavour. Adding a little at a time and whisking in to prevent lumps from forming. I do not want lumpy polenta. This is quick cook polenta and once thickened I've switched from a whisk to a spoon for the final few minutes of cooking. The mushrooms and onion are added to the polenta and stirred well in. And for more flavour a grating of Parmaginio Reggiano. Keep stirring until completely mixed in. It's now added to a parchment lined dish. Sealed with film and placed in the fridge overnight to set. Next day I'm prepping the prawns. Removing the shells but keeping the tail. And then removing that black vein that no one wants to eat. I've just got the polenta from the fridge. Tipping it out and removing the parchment. Now I'm cutting it into a round and with the leftovers I'll make some polenta chips. And that's my polenta cake. 
a brushing with light oil and it's onto the griddle. Brush the other side, close the lid and let it cook. Before you know it, it's time to flip. A nice bit of charring on both sides. It's off the griddle and into a foil tray. Fit the warming rack and put it to warm. The prawns are on the griddle and they literally cook in seconds. So once they've turned pink and opaque, get them off while they're still nice and juicy. Now to plate up and assemble. the prawns. I think I'll use three. That's it. Now for the greenery, fresh from my herb garden. I think I'll move that piece. That's it. And now for the final touches. A few blobs of pea puree. Well, that didn't go as planned. Not enough puree in the bottle. I think I've recovered it with this one. And there it is, my version of shrimp and grits, or prawns and polenta. If there's anything more you'd like to know about this recipe, then all you have to do is click that button. Don't forget to activate and ding the bell, and then leave your comments in the comments box below. Now. Here's a recipe recap.
Well, that's one Brit's version of grits and shrimp, or prawns and polenta. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then give us a thumbs up. That's all for this time. Join me next time on the Barbecue Walk of Flame and see what's cooking on my Weber Q. So from me, the dude with the food, the old geezer at the grill, it's goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>